good morning guys so today is monday a fresh start of the week but yesterday was my birthday so i turned to the big 26 yesterday can't believe it 26 someone literally messaged me like you can't be 26 like you you look like 24 which obviously is a good thing but what are you trying to say you try and say 26 is old because if you are then i'm gonna cry anyway today is the start of a very exciting vlog um me my mum and sister are going up to london today and we are going to see the moulin rouge in theater it's mine and my mum's favorite film ever and mum's actually already been to see it but um i haven't she said it was really good so i said let's go for my birthday because i want to see it and then so yeah we're gonna head up there but we're gonna go to leicester where is it mum leicester square yeah leicester square leicester square and oh you look nice oh, oh is that that jumper from zara yeah look how cool my mum looks <laughs> it's nice it's nice jumper isn't it i love that mum yeah, thank you. Very trendy yeah. over here. Mum's all nearly ready and I've not even jumped in the shower yet. I'm definitely not going to wash my hair because that would just take me even longer to get ready. <laughs> going to Leicester Square, we're going to go to the Christmas markets. Jess said there's Christmas markets around there and we're going to have a little look, grab some food and then go to the Moulin Rouge. And then come home, Ryan's going to pick me up. I'm going to stay at his house and we are heading to the airport tomorrow morning about 6 am i think it's picking us up for going to gatwick and heading off to chamonix so i'm so bloody excited um we kind of hoped that it would be like um really snowy though because i just feel like the snowy pictures and like i've never really been anywhere like that before like I've, i'm i love hot places like I, I love going to hot countries because i'm such a i'm just made for the summer so i've never actually been anywhere where it's like really snowy and like cute um, so I was really hoping it was going to be like that, but apparently there's no snow on the ground because it's pure sunshine. Obviously not hot, but like the sun's melted the snow. So if we want to have snow, we've got to go. Obviously it'll be up in, in the mountains for the skiing. So we'll be heading up there. Okay, so it turns out that it is absolutely freezing outside. I think it's because I don't actually spend that much time traveling anymore or spending time outside but i just didn't think it was as cold as what it was so we got off the tottenham court road and we're in primark and i've got some goods i've got a green fluffy bag a hoodie to put on now because i'm breathing a black mini leather skirt and a diamond bralette just because it was what i'd seen when i was here and i was like Whilst I'm here, might as well do a bit of shopping. For those that like nutcrackers, how cute are these? If you've got like a gold theme going on in your house at Christmas, they are sick. I'm not sure about the actual sword going on there though. That's a bit aggressive. And they've got silver ones too. All from Primark. Oh look, mother has appeared. She's finding me some candles. Didn't find them. Look, there's pink bubble one. How cute is that? Just got to the Christmas market. Oh, here's mum taking her picture. <laughs> like a mum. <gasps> Jess, churros. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh my God, can you smell the onions? <laughs> oh my God. Look at all of this fudge. Oh my God. Okay, we've decided to go for the burger and chips. We're getting three pork pounders with cheese, but we're gonna wait, eat that, and then have some loaded gourmet fries. Yeah, and then done. Churros. <laughs> yeah. I'm so jealous. Wow, is that nice? Stop it. Oh my god. Okay, so we've come to the loaded fries. Look at all of these. But we're going to go for the bacon double cheese, 
cheese sauce, great cheese, crispy onions, dribble from bacon eggs, and the dirty south fries, pulled chicken, barbecue sauce, cheese, crumbled crackling, and American mustard. Woo! Oh my <laughs> god. Are you excited for that? Oh yes. Oh yes. Whoa. Get a bit of everything. <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> the second lot. Oh my god. Oh, look at them. That is banging. Okay, the chips have been eaten and now we are going in for the churros. <laughs> look how I zoomed in, Mum's done my face. What the hell? What the hell, Mum? That's <laughs> nice. That's not. What? Right, Mum, you have to do the taste test for this right, one. Go on. Get, get right. one with. That's, yeah. Oh, wait, it's in the drop-off, though. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Surely you want that big bit of all yeah, the sauce. Oh, yeah, amazing. <laughs> Is that amazing? Yeah. Go on, Mills. Ah. Don't have back, Mills. Shake him with the best one. Yeah. Well... Mum, we didn't have to take it first and it was sitting now. Um, <laughs> seeing as you are the birthday girl, I think it, it needs to be done really. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. Oh wow. Mm. So we've got to head to the theatre now. Um, but one last stop before we go to the theatre and that is to the sweet shop. These are my favourite things in the world. I am so full of eating so much. I've, I've literally had to undo my button on my jeans. I'm so bloated. Me and Jess love these Cheetos, right? Flaming hot ones because we both love like spicy food and these is really nice spicy crisps. And they are £10 for a packet of crisps. And we bought them. <laughs> it's absolutely extortionate. And I would not recommend anyone doing that. But because we don't get to get them often, do we? No. We were saying it's just because we you can only really get them up London and we're never really here. Yeah, exactly. So, well, next to those American sweet shops anyway. I feel like there are loads of them everywhere though. Moulin Rouge. Here we are. <laughs> it's gonna start in three minutes. So when we've been waiting, well we sat down at like quarter two and they um like the half hour until it starts is all these people from Moulin Rouge just coming out walking about. It's not really the show and I'm allowed to film that bit before anyone comes for me. Um it's gonna start in three minutes <laughs> like we're in halfway break. I've had to open the Cheeto jalapeno cheese ones because not more. Because <laughs> we're so, I'm I'm hungry. I'm pretty sure you can um, order to a seat. So first half was unreal. So good. They're singing. And the own, costumes. Own the costumes, yeah. So good. What do you think of the music? It's completely different to the film. I'm annoyed. Yeah, I'm annoyed that they completely changed the elephant medley. Yeah, so am I. I was thrilled. Elephant, yeah, elephant medley. medley. So with what they just sung, uh, the mix of the yeah. old classic songs they do in the film. No, it's right. so good. There's a couple in there, but not all of them. They kept the couple, but it isn't exactly the same. Field. Well, don't I look shattered? <laughs> Mum and Jess, very tired. Day on the show. It was absolutely unreal. I think I would have much preferred it if it was original Moulin Rouge songs. 
but it wasn't. Still loved it, like it still was amazing. We are just on our way back to Essex now. Thank God I parked at the station so I can drop Mama Jess home. And I'm gonna head home and finish packing. It's currently 20 past 11. Um, and then Ryan's picking me up and we will be off to Chamonix in the morning. I'm so excited. And we are... I think I need concealer. Right. <laughs> I've got a spark, Brian's got a spark. We need to conceal in our lives. Morning everyone. Look at the size of this crater on my face. I've never had such a big spark in my entire life. Genuinely. It's huge. We are off to Chamonix, flying to Geneva. Millie's kindly getting her concealer out for me, so I need to cover up this bad boy. But this is the start of the trip. Still got my Thailand tag. Aww. That is sick. Yeah. I'm also definitely not a light traveller. This is so heavy, the suitcase. Yeah, look at it compared to mine. Well, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. I've got all of my equipment in there. He's arrived. We're just going through security. And, um,. I just got money out. Yeah, people love to stop in the middle of the queue for starters. And then two, I just got money out for like cabs and stuff and we're there. Who bloody knew that when you get Euros out of the airport, you lose money? <laughs> Everyone but you. I didn't know that. It's like the worst place to get your currency. No, because I ha I do it like me and Lucinda I've done it when yeah. we went to the Thailand. Euros, it's really bad. Might the Euros, bad I don't ever do that. It's really bad Euros. Yes, yeah, so bad. So I got out like five hundred pounds. I spent five hundred thirty-six pounds, and I only got five hundred Euros. That's thirty-six pounds that I've lost. Daylight, right, quickly go through this. <laughs> Hour and forty-five minute flight. So we're heading to Geneva first, and then we are getting a transfer to France. France. Bring it Right, we're on the plane. <laughs> Ryan is petrified of flying, so... I'm actually not as scared as I used to be. Like, I'm, right now I'm really not bothered. Yeah, because you're high. That's it. Joking, I don't know if you should include that. Yeah. People are very fun. You've got to do what you got to do. Some people drink. A little bit of liquid courage to get some through. Some people don't go at all. So, do you know what? I don't, I don't. Show everyone. I'm going to show everyone this. If you don't like flying, I have listened to this book. It's an e-book on iTunes. I've listened to it for years and years since I've been flying. It's so relaxing. It literally sends me to sleep. I love it. Put me your phones in. Me on the other hand, we'll just fall asleep naturally. No music. <laughs> No pills, just <laughs> conk out because I'm just the most yeah, sleepiest person. Oh, I didn't show the camera. I'm really sorry, but I completely forgot about you. Um, we'll insert footage on this. Oh, yeah, we'll insert some footage from my mobile phone, but we have just landed. So excited! In Daniela. Time to go to the gathering. Yeah, I slept the whole journey. And I watched Firefly Lane the whole time. Firefly Lane. Snacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got my vlogging camera as per like always. We actually had to film an ad when we got to the hotel. Yeah, so we filmed the L'Oreal ad very excited to be working with L'Oreal um, and yeah so we did that and then we got ready and we've just been walking around the town whilst I'm vlogging Ryan's just taking selfies <laughs> <laughs> that's normally me <laughs> so we've come out we've had a walk around the town the first people oh it's really dead but it's because we actually weren't in the centre yet and we managed to find it and now we've just found a cute little bar I'm drinking, it was all in French, so I don't actually know what this is, but I could see that it had melon, rouge, which I think is strawberry, and Prosecco, 
and champagne. Le Spritz Rouge. Le Spritz Rouge. Le Cure de Melon. Cure de Fruits Rouge. Cure de Fruits Rouge. Prosecco per... Le Spritz Rouge. Le Cure de Melon. Cure de Fruits Rouge. Prosecco per me. That's pretty good. Are you from Chamonix? No. I'm from Saint-Tropez. I'm <laughs> from Saint-Tropez. Yeah, so we've stopped at this little bar. We've got a limoncello shop. Who likes my bow? I thought it was really cute. Right, it's cutie vibes. I also got this cute little jumper on, which is from Sisters or something. Sisters and Seekers. Sisters and Seekers. Oh, three, two, one. We missed it. I love that. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I mean, I look ugly, but... No, you don't. Brian's got, so he found this when he was getting ready, didn't you? Yeah, the trip. this is my first camera I ever bought. Well, my parents bought it for me. It's a little Kodak digital camera and I, I have like a whole box of all my equipment and this was at the bottom and I thought, wonder if it still works, but it literally has batteries, like double A's. Um, Tell everyone what it is in case they want to buy a digital camera. Well, it's a digital camera, it's just an old one, yeah, it's a Kodak Easy Share C90, C913. I bet you can't even buy it. I bought this in like 2008. It's so nice. I actually can't even tell you how nice it is. Not gonna get me as drunk. No. It was a good start. I'm back on my vlogging camera. Whoa, that is how bright it is out here. I have to show you this view before I forget, but we are about to go up to the mountains. But this is where we're staying, so it's called Les Refugees des Aglons. And this is our little balcony. And this is a heated pool here. So me and Ryan are gonna go have a swim in that later. And then there's a jacuzzi underneath there. Then that's like a sauna and a steam room. And then this is our view. I mean, wow. Look at that. It's just amazing. This is Ryan and his outfit. <laughs> you look cool. Really cool. You're such a nice. Do you want to take a sandwich up there? No, I fucking don't. Oh, okay. This is our bed that we slept in last night. This is on one part of the room. I'm a sofa. Right. Take your hood down for now. That's cooler. You look cool there. You look like you're about to rob me. I literally look like the burglar from Home Alone. You don't. That is what people wear. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Already messy, obviously. And then this is the toilet. Just on its own there. I've got on like this blue gilet with this blue all-in-one, white moon boots. But I can't just wear a gilet up the mountains because Jesus Christ. <laughs> I will be cold and I might get hypothermia. Also, funny, funny, funny thing about this is we, have to embarrass ourselves. we <laughs> booked this trip to like learn to ski and like get content and stuff. And skiing's closed here at the moment. <laughs> so you can't actually ski. So yeah, we won't be doing that. Oh, okay. Well, what about if you do the blue lens? Because you're wearing a blue outfit. Yeah. Ryan's actually been my stylist. Yesterday when we were getting ready, he fully like laid out my whole outfit. It was like, okay, so these are a couple of things you can wear today, with like these accessories and all that. And I was like, oh, this is good. <laughs> then we went out yesterday, last night. I've obviously already put in f phone vlog um, footage. But we came home because we got drunk. All we had that day was a sandwich, to be fair, right? Yeah, We'd sandwich. only had a sandwich um, at the airport. And then um, went out for dinner. We had like two drinks. And we were both like on our way. Um, like, you know when you you drink and you know you're tired because your eyes feel really heavy. I normally get that with wine, but it was a cocktail. And um, we came home at like what eight or it was, half seven. It was asleep by nine. And then we went asleep by nine. Oh. But we needed it. Ryan, well, yeah. I didn't need it. I'd had quite a lot of sleep, but Ryan only had four hours. He was knackered. He fell asleep straight away. I was just on my phone for a little bit, and then I went to bed. And then we got up at. Well, he got up at half seven today and I got up at eight. So, time to crack on today. Get going. See, we are going to go up the mountains, but we can't obviously ski. But I can't actually ski anyway. I was hoping I'd, like, learn. But I think you can still get to get ski lessons. But I don't think I'm going to now. 
Vibes. You look like the singer that's like. But you to bring a fairy tale my way. Yeah. Like like you like that. Been living in a fantasy without dreaming. Like it's not okay. <laughs> I don't feel safe. I need to. <gasps> Uh, oh, is that the word? No, I don't know. I don't know the word. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I look like a boy in these, but I will. Yeah, I look like fucking. We both look stupid now. I like being black. Yeah, you you do look like you're gonna rob me. I'm not gonna lie. I look like the burglar from Home Alone. Yeah. Insert picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you in my pocket and hopefully take you up there with me, but. Let's see if that works out. <laughs> Is anything like Snowden? That won't happen. Yeah, yeah. If it's uh, anything, how? What? Well, what? You just said it. If it's anything like Snowden, I can't look at myself. <laughs> if it's anything oh, like God. Snowden, yeah, I will not be able to film. Guys, look at that. That is actually stunning, isn't it? Do you want to see me in front of the mountain? Yeah. Wow. So this is the little town. <laughs> we thought there wasn't going to be snow on the ground. I mean, <laughs> there's not currently snow on the floor. Look at Ryan's ski boots. So ugly. They're cute. Well, there there's is snow. I think I didn't even do a lot of He didn't even tie his boots up. I just put them on how they came in the pack. I mean, same to be fair. Yeah, Look how cute all these little like. I've actually never felt more Christmas eh? Yeah, same. Christmas. We're going left. Yeah. This is where we walked towards the town. Oh look, Briar, right, 3,000 meters to the cable cart. Do you know what's quite funny is that obviously people who live here are like haven't got earmuffs, fluffy bloody gloves. Well, she used to Loads it. of layers, like they must be used to it. How cute when we were in the bar yesterday and we were talking to the, the woman like at the um, barmaid. She was so nice. She was really and nice. She was like born and raised here. Yeah, Shandler, and she said that, I was like, oh, so you must be good at skiing then. She went, yeah, we have to learn skiing from a baby, or well, kind yeah, of baby, three. three. But she was three years old. And to top it off. Oh look. She just dropped off to music school. Vibes. That would have been me. I was playing float. <laughs> feels what like the those? holiday. That's what it feels like. It does. Like we're in the hot like where when Cameron Deer swaps houses, she goes yeah. into that cute little house. We need a Mini Cooper. We need a Mini Cooper. And we've got to tell them about oh, what? That, <laughs> that thing we had last night. It was like a pizza, but with no tomato oh, yeah. and just you are melted through. We were like, bacon. what What does it say on this menu? We can't read it. She was like, oh, that one's um, cheese. And we said, what's that? Another cheese. <laughs> and what's that one? More cheese. So it was just literally this like, what was it? Like a, a pita? Yeah, almost. It was like a pizza base, but crispier with loads Very of thin. cheese. Bacon. I think ours had. Um, uh, brie. Yeah, you could see the on it. You could see the edges of the brie on it. It's like, oh, I think you'd like that. She went, what cheese do you like? And I went, well, I don't like goat cheese or blue cheese, but I like like extra mature cheddar. She went, well, oh, I think there's a language, French barrier. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. I'm probably thinking that's the worst cheese ever. <laughs> she said, I recommend this one. So she made it for us. But anyway, I'm out of breath with my hand. I'm going to get frostbite. <laughs> I'm gonna go. We are on the train now, heading from the station up to the mountain. I have a feeling we're gonna see stunning views. Brian's got his new gimbal out that he got. When did you get it? Yesterday or the day before? Oy, that's sick.
We went up the mountain and I forgot to get the vlogging camera out because I'm the worst vlogger in the world. But it makes you look like that, but you don't. You I don't. have no eyebrows. We're waiting for a drink and then we're going to go into town because Brian's phone needs to charge because he's run out of battery already and it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Because I've taken so much content at Melee. So much content, it's a joke. We've got some cute pictures. So if you haven't already seen them, head to my Instagram for some ski content, well, snowy content, let's say, because we're not skiing. Um, and yeah, then we'll go for lunch because I'm starving. But right now, it is the game of Connect Four. Connect Four. Who is gonna win? Let's be the decider. I'm annoyed. I'm really pissed off. I've done it again. <laughs> Literally spit in the wrong place. Oh no, it's there. The reason to go there. I oh, was nothing above it. <laughs> what would I have done again then? Oh, because if you didn't do that and you yeah. put that there, I would have got. I no, I wouldn't it... have. I should have put it there. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't have got me. If you put it there. You put it there. No, because you're. Oh yeah, I would have. Yeah. You won't go. Ultimate winner over here. By the way, when we were up the mountains, I was just like, took my coat off, had my gilet on, was just like, proper like going for it, just posing. There's people just walking past like this, looking me up and down, weren't they? Mm. Thinking, gosh, she must be cold, or oh. how vain is she? Got Little do they out. know, it's my job. Yeah, we've got a shout out. Oh yeah! This lovely couple that we met. She was so nice. Really lovely couple. I didn't get their names. That's really sad. Right, she's got a picture with Millie. Hmm. She's a lovely girl, and they've come away. Her and her boyfriend. Oh, I'm shooting sure that's her boyfriend. I reckon they're married. Aww. Aww. If you're married, let me know. Comment on this YouTube. Um, yeah, comment. Comment who you hi. are and say hi. And then, um, yeah. We met this lovely couple, got chatting to them, didn't we? Mm. She said she watched my um, Snowden vlog because I was saying yeah. the last time I went up a mountain was Snowden and I cried. <laughs> so, yeah, it was quite traumatising. So that's why we got the train up. Definitely. I don't know whether you could even It's the only way that. you can get up out there, I think, is the train. No, he said you could hire. No, he said you can hire to Mont Blanc. Oh my God, hike to Mont Blanc. Because he says the cable cars weren't running to Mont Blanc or something. So there's a hut. I don't know. I'm lying. All I know is if I don't get food in me in a couple of minutes, I'm going to die. I've got to drink this Aperol first and get a cute picture. We've got a really funny ick video going up on TikTok as well, which is hilarious. And I just mugged okay. off Ryan's ski boots. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> And before he went, one of your icks isn't about my hat, is it? Because he, he doesn't like himself in a hat. I was like, well, I, no, I wouldn't go that far. And we instead just done his <laughs> ski boots instead. <laughs> Hats are just not my thing. Insert picture of me in a hat. Because <laughs> <laughs> I look so bad. <laughs> you know what's funny? When we were writing out our icks, just so we were pre planned, we knew what our three icks were. Obviously, without telling each other. I was like, oh, I can't think of my third one. And I'm like, fucking hell, we thought of two already. No, we literally, I literally went, right, come on, let's write them down then so we know what we're saying. And I've literally like, just opened my notes up and she was like, I can't think of my third one. And I was like, what the fuck? How did you, do you hate me? You thought of them so quickly. <laughs> We're not horrible things, it's just funny things. Hmm. The nose one was the funniest, it's just like this. You know. I don't know why I do that. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go take pictures now. So me and Ryan were just enjoying our Aperol spritz, as you do. And we were going through our comments on my Instagram because some of you may not think that I do see what you write, but I do. I'm just quite busy and sometimes I don't get the chance to reply, but when, when I do get the chance, I do reply to you guys. And I love speaking to all of you. Oh. However... There are just some people in this world who aren't as nice as others. And I had, you know, I'm in an amazing ski place, snowy, beautiful France, Chamonix, and 
I love a bikini pic. Like I take bikini pics as I would in Thailand. So I thought I'm going to do one in Chamonix. Because we have a literal heated pool outside and a hot tub. So we went in it afterwards. Um, but people just felt the need to comment calling me a pikey. Saying I need to get my kit off to get famous. Um, what else was they saying? Just being nasty. Just being nasty. And I think that some people don't realize that i can see that and i think people think i'm just an instagram page and i'm just this tv personality because i went on one tv show that i don't i'm not human and i don't have feelings um and it does actually hurt me it is quite hurtful when i when i read comments like that and i maybe i don't have as thick a skin as maybe i should but i don't think i've ever been prepared to be in the life that i am and i'm very very grateful for it but you know, some people aren't as, as thick skin as others, me being one of them, and I don't, it's not nice. Me and Ryan are a bit pissed off, but we're not going to let him <laughs> sit there with his arms no, crossed. Do you know what? I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Go. I'm going to say something. You guys, all, right, all the haters out there that you don't understand what goes into planning a trip, planning content, working with brands, working with, like there's so much behind the scenes that you just think it's a two minute picture that just gets uploaded. Like it might be like that for some influencers, but I can vouch very much so for Millie that it's like a process. Everything is carefully thought out and like, it's just rude. It's my job. It's your job. Yeah. And it's like, if you were at work and your boss asked you to prepare your a boss. presentation. Your what? Your boss. Your boss. Your <laughs> boss asked you to prepare a presentation. If you didn't get that presentation correct, does mm. that mean your colleagues would email you and be like, ha, ah, you're fat. Ha, ah, you're ugly. How embarrassing. No. Mm. Or, so you just made a mistake or you overjudged it or whatever. Not saying that what you posted was wrong because it wasn't at all. Yeah. But it's like, why does it deserve such shit? And it's just like, chill out. First of all, it's not that deep. It's no. just an Instagram picture. And if Millie feels cool in that, I look so red. I've definitely got sunburn on these slopes. <laughs> if you like- You are red. Yeah. Oh. If you feel like what Millie's posting isn't for you and like, you know, you just think, you know, that picture is not a vibe. She looks ugly, like in your opinion. Don't comment. Sometimes I might, Miley Cyrus is my favorite person on earth. Sometimes I think she posts a picture and think, that's not your best pic, girl. Do I comment on her and be like, you are disgusting. No. no I fucking don't, because I don't care. She obviously liked it because she posted it. Just because there's, a, there's like a number behind you, so there's a number, the amount of followers Millie has or the presence she has on socials, doesn't mean you get to treat her like shit. And it's just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. No. If anyone does that or supports that, <laughs> but may I add that there are, it's, you know, it's annoying because I'd say 10% of my comments are negative, 90% are very positive, and I don't really want to give a shout out to the haters because that, this is what they want. So I'm giving you what you want right now, <laughs> okay guys, because normally I don't do this, but I just felt the need to. But may I say that everyone who does comment lovely things, I see it, I love you, and thank you so much. Like, it does mean a lot, and I know that, I say it is my job, but it is, I'm taking pictures of myself and then when people write nice stuff, of course it's going to make me feel good about myself. We all have insecure moments and... Everyone loves to be gassed up. Yeah, we, we all want to be gassed up. We gas our friends up. up on a night out. We gas our friends up and we take a picture when you're getting ready to go to the club. Yeah. Or you're on a picnic, whether you're going out for the day in London, or whatever you're doing, everyone loves it. Yeah. But no one, it's like if you're about to go out with your mates and I went, that air don't look nice. Do you think that's going to make it feel good? Yeah. Do you know what they say? What's that thing? What's that saying? If you can't change it in five minutes, don't say it to them. What's that mean? So you know, like, if we back, before we used to go out, you'd done your whole makeup, right? If your makeup looked like shit to me, I wouldn't go, your makeup looks like shit. You can't change that in five minutes. You can't change that before you're about to walk yeah. out the door. Bad outfit. Fair. If you're in online meals, that's not looking cool, that outfit. Yeah, change that outfit. Yeah, I nice. can change it. But, because that's quick thing i get what you're saying yeah it's nice it's just like be nice it ain't that i just always say to people it ain't that deep hmm. it is that deep because it's your job and because it's important yeah but it's also not that deep because it's just a picture yeah like it's just a picture and just you're actually picture. commenting on a picture because you don't like it 
Sorry, Karen from Suffolk. I actually don't care what you think. <laughs> so see ya. No, there might be nice Karens from Suffolk out there, and if there is, shout out to you. But <laughs> if most of them, but if there ain't, piss off. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna go get some good food yeah, and no then drink. No more negative chat. No more negative chat. That's not happening on this trip. This is my birthday trip. I just want good vibes. I just want to have a good time, take some good pictures. And I'm in work... the same outfit three <laughs> days in a row. <laughs> work my butt off and yeah. Peace out. Hey everyone. So we are just in. Millie's had so many recommendations to go to Poco Loco. And it's like a fast food burger place. So we're in here. Millie is currently favouring pictures for content. So I thought I'd update you all. Even though it's not my YouTube or my vlog, I am on a beer. So I've had a glass of wine, an aperol, and a beer. So I'm very much mixing. But that's okay. <laughs> right, food is here. Um, we've got, obviously Millie got the spiciest one, I got a chicken burger, chips, and then they've mixed mayo and ketchup, kind of weird, but let's do a taste test. Oh my god, we're not going to be out to eat dinner. Joking, I say well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Is it good? Wow. That is insane. Wow. Mm. That is insane. How nice is that? Oh my god. Stop here. What a good choice. Wow. Thank you everyone for the recommendations. It absolutely defeated me. <laughs> I could not finish it, but like mine was triple the size of yours. <laughs> it was. Mine had a big fat hash brown in it, chicken, yeah. bacon. Yeah. What was your, in yours? Bacon, chicken, lettuce, burger bun. Fat loom. Beer. I had loads. Did you have cheese in yours? Oh. And these chips. Insane. Insane. By the way, Pepsi in Chamonix. I think it's Pepsi Max. Tastes nothing like Pepsi Max. You're drunk. You've had one and a half beer. I had one apple, one wine, and nearly two beers. I'm a bit tipsy, yeah. What's the problem? Crime. <laughs> what did you expect? You took me to Paris, I was wasted from the moment I woke up. Uh, you got a last, though, tonight. Last? And beat, you need to last be. Last in bed. <laughs> no, you need to be able to take photos of me later. I'm not doing that. So we went to town, we went to, I don't know, I think we did film in Poco Loco, whatever it was. We did film there, so that's why we went and got some lunch. And then we came back, we just went, went outside into the pool, but I can't actually show you, because I got my phone out, and it's so, like, where it's freezing outside and the pool's hot, the, there was just mist, like heat, like this. You can't really see it. We got into the pool, I'm not gonna lie though, it was, Cold. Don't know why they call it a heated pool, but there was a jacuzzi, so he went in that and intruded on two people who was already in there. Probably ruined their nice romantic time together. But and Ryan kept kicking the boy. His, touching his hand with my foot. <laughs> so Flirting with him, which are he was with. He had a girlfriend, <laughs> Ryan. So now we've just ordered another drink. I've had quite a few people ask me about my new lip combo. Actually, I can't even tell you, because I don't know. What I do know is that it's Morphe lip liner and a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but I've got it up there, so when we, before we go down, I'll read it out to you guys so you can know, because look at this combo. It's so nice. Oh, this is the first time I've not double, double legging, and my fucking legs I are- I feel alright, to be honest. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Are off to dinner. Fondue. Cheese fondue. I'm not even hungry. Neither am I, but I'm gonna eat it. Right, Ryan, you keep farting. Sorry. Are you okay? I think you need a poo. No, it's because. Does anyone else get this? When they're Funny. away, your poo clock 
goes out the fucking window. Yeah, like, I, I cannot do agree on that. It. When I go to, cause obviously I'm at Millie's every single day doing work, Monday to Friday, and nine to five. I poo like clockwork. As soon as I get up, half past seven, on the toilet, plop, plop, plop. <laughs> but when I'm away, no plopping. No, I know what you mean. It does throw you off, I doesn't it? I can't do it. We're in the town at the moment. I can't remember if I showed you this or not, but this is what it looks like at night time. I'm quite gutted though, because basically we got told that the season starts for Christmas on the 16th of December and that we're early. And I just don't really get it because it's like, surely Christmas lasts the whole of December, like it would in England, wherever really but no it starts on the 16th of december and apparently it prolongs into january so we've come too early nothing's open but i can imagine it being really busy really cute but to confirm is this like most christmas thing you've ever seen yeah it is but how much better would it be if the lights were on why are the lights it's minus the lights it's literally like it's snowing right it's now. snowing you yeah you can't even see it but it's snowing it's literally like pure christmas Okay guys, so we found a restaurant that had, what was it, what's this called? Fondo. Fondo, and Ryan's going to do the honours. Demonstrate. Ready? So this is what it comes put like. You have to put the cheese close to the fire. Alright. Give it a check. A bit more. It's bubbling, no? Right, should we put it on your plate or mine? Put it on mine. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Shall I, I'm gonna have a get a bit of ham. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I'm actually just gonna try the cheese on its own. Oh my god. That is insane. We're doing Kardashian style peak and pits of our year. Ryan, you've got two peaks. I've got two peaks. Okay, what's the first peak? So my first peak is definitely the amount I've travelled because all, as all my friends and family you know, I'm a very really anxious traveller. Mm. And I was just telling Millie I've been to so many places this year, flown so many times, seen so much of the world this year. It's been unreal. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Another peak was my one year anniversary of the oh. It was a really special day and we just had a great time. On my pit, do you know what I think my pit was? I think my pit was, even though relationships do it to everyone, I think my pit was not spending as much time as I can with my friends. That was my pit. What do you mean? You know, I feel like I missed out on a few things. Like what? Not going on nights out and things like that. We didn't do that many nights out. No, but you've done a few. And I just like, it was just one of those things where I think that I should have been You don't like going out, Baba. I know, but you have got for dinner or something. I'm like, no, I want to stay home. Mm. It's just like when you're in a new relationship yeah. with your new boyfriend. I get that. It's one of those things where it's like, no, I'm just sure. Yeah. Other than that, 2022. Your best it's year. Been one of the best years of my life. I just feel like, it's how can I pick one moment? Like, like two. Yeah, maybe. I think a peak for me, very specifically, probably was Thailand. I don't know, I, like I said it in my Thailand vlog, I never thought I would go somewhere as far as that and I never, I never thought I'd have the money to go somewhere like that and to be taken away to that country with a brand and then it was Lucina's birthday, we travelled back business class because it was her birthday and we decided to treat ourselves, um, so Trending Travel had already paid for an economy flight so we just had to pay on top of that, um, which was it's so nice and so grateful that I can work with like amazing companies and amazing brands and I get so many amazing opportunities. So that's probably like the biggest peak of the year. But that's probably my peak of last year as well. I'm trying to think of something quite a lot more specific. Probably then my biggest peak was having my own collection with ASOS and going to LA 
like shooting my own collection and launching. That like, that is like a dream come true. That's way better than Thailand. <laughs> Not monkey Thailand because that's obviously amazing. But that was way better. I just need more to personal. Remember, yeah, definitely more personal, more personal, more meaningful. Okay, so what was your pit? My pit. Um, my pit was probably, and it's gonna sound oh, so cliche or whatever, but going through a breakup oh, and yeah, moving no out of my that. home. Why do I feel emotional? What the hell? Don't cry. <laughs> right, we're back. We're back, we're back. Sagittarius is doing not get out of town. <laughs> I do not know why that just happened. Um, no, but, right, like Ryan just said, it's not on the vlog, but it led to so many other amazing things. I got my first cover of the magazine after, not due to that, but, you know, something came from it. It was like, I went low, and then I got a really good high, and now I live with Clubby, and, yeah. There's so much more to look forward to in life, and not, like, life isn't about boys, you know what I mean? So, Fuck me. life is about me. Me. My life man. is about me, Fuck and that's what I'm gonna live for. Fuck me, me, my friends, my family, obviously. Fuck me. Um, but yeah, that's that. Morning, guys. So we are now at the airport. Time to go home. Very, very sad about it. Ryan got stopped at security as per. He said, "Any liquids? No." Whole fucking bottle of water in there. <laughs> We've just gone through security. We're gonna stop and get some food. Our flight is delayed by 15 minutes. And then head home to shitty England. <laughs> we had the best trip ever. Wasn't it so fun? It's just like something we've never seen before. Like it really puts in the Christmassy mood, Christmas spirit. Yeah. Literally was this film. That's one good thing I think about our job is that we get to go to places that we wouldn't normally go to. So I've gone for this blonde caramel one with hazelnut inside. My mum and my sister would definitely like that. Oh, then my mum, just a plain hazelnut. Don't know what this is, but it looks quite nice. Look how yum this looks. That pepperoni looks so crispy. It does. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna do a taste test of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hope you enjoyed my little birthday Chamonix vlog. I definitely had a fabulous week. I'm really sad to be going home. I'm gonna have a chill tomorrow and then we have Friendsmas on Saturday. So Christmas day but with friends at mine and Chloe's house so we're having everyone over we're getting an igloo set up so I'll probably film that as well if you want thank you for watching guys um, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one Bye. very loud <laughs>